Good morning, and welcome to James with Jesus on this Tuesday, May 31st. And yes, I'm not Pastor Josh. He and the LCM students are making their way back from seminary visits in Minnesota, or seminary visit in Minnesota. And I think they're either at the airport or headed to the airport, so um, I'm stepping in. Today, when I looked at the Revised Common Lectionary, it refers to today as the visitation of Mary to Elizabeth which got me thinking about timing of these feasts and festivals and how um, Lutherans don't really go out of our way to uh, mark many of those occasions that maybe those in the Roman Catholic and Eastern um, Orthodox and then Anglican traditions do. Um, not that we don't honor them, we just don't uh, make them a, a big part of our ecclesiastical calendar. Um, but it did get me thinking about the question that uh, Rachel Casada had asked, which was Feast of the Ascension, which was last Thursday. It's uh, 39 days after Easter Sunday or the 40th day of Easter. And she was wondering how that timing was calculated and said she hadn't uh, come across it in the Gospels and was curious. And I, I, I wasn't thinking at the time. I said, I don't know. Well, now I do know. So here you go. <laughs> All right. Now I am remembering. This is from the first chapter of the book of Acts, which is a continuation of the gospel writer Luke's narrative. So first chapter, first verse. In the first book, Theophilus, that is the gospel of Luke, I wrote all about what all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven, after giving instructions to the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by convincing proofs appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them, they said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. So there's Ascension Day. Uh, like I said, the 40th day of Easter, or 39 days after Easter Sunday. Uh, in, in Scripture, 40 is apt, often used to connote a significant period of time in God's working. So you have... Uh, 40 years in the wilderness, Moses 40 days in the mountain, uh, Ezekiel, I believe, 40 days. Uh, obviously, Jesus 40 days in the wilderness. So whether that's an actual literal 40 days or not, um, in my opinion, is kind of beside the point. It's saying, hey, pay attention. God's up to something significant here, as has been done in the past. Um, Again, reading scripture in our modern day sensibilities, 21st century, post enlightenment, facts and figures, truth is conveyed by what we can weigh and measure and replicate. Um, other societies through the ages have used different barometers for truth telling, and that is in stories and uh, conveying virtues and uh, meaning. Uh, one bumper sticker theology that um, that is used recognizing that scripture is 39 books of the Old Testament and 27 books of the New Testament compiled into one library that we refer to as a book, the Bible. Um, one bumper sticker says, I, I take the Bible too seriously to take it literally, in meaning that a lot of times the meanings of scripture is conveyed through poetry, through um, apocryphal language, through other means other than just straight prose. But this kind of circles me back around to the greatest commandment. We are to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love our neighbors ourself. Um, that putting these truths and teachings into action is really, in my mind, where the faith rubber meets the road. That it's not all about compiling all this stuff up here, but it's, is it also transforming 
the heart in, in ways that help us better love God and better love our neighbor. So on this day of Mary's visitation to Elizabeth, uh, one can ponder all these things in our heart as, as Mary was prone to do. So let us pray. Holy God, thank you for this new day. Thank you for the gift of your scripture. Thank you for the gift of witnesses through the ages who've pointed to the truth through their lives. Um, we give you thanks for the various gifts different denominations can bring to the table and for us to learn from one another and give you thanks for the primary teachings that are so true um, and near and dear to our hearts of justification by grace through faith um, and law and gospel and the many other ways we read, interpret, and live scripture. Uh, be with those this day who are still in grief and mourning across the country and around the world. Help us to be peacemakers in our homes, in our neighborhoods, communities, and countries. Help us get to a point where we can enjoy the beauty of this creation, where you have provided more than enough for all. If we can do away with our greed and desire for hoarding and coveting and all those other nasty things that pervade human nature. So help us um, transform our hearts that we may be your transforming presence in the world. And this we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. What will be chef's surprise tomorrow, whether Pastor Josh will take Wednesday or take Thursday or take Saturday. So we'll see who's with you tomorrow. But God's peace be with you today. Bye-bye.